All right, so I wasn't able to commentate in the real time, so I'm going to be commentating over and showcasing the radio in future time. We are in a 2020 Dodge Ram. This client came in because he wants a radio upgrade. Such a big truck, but such a tiny screen. So we're going to be fixing that here by installing a Tesla style. And as per usual in these YouTube videos, I will be guiding you guys on how to remove the radio on this Dodge Ram. You can do this with your hand or with a pick like me. You have to remove this rubber cover because it's covering two Phillips screws that you have to remove. Those are the two of them. Now, after you remove that, all that's holding in the radio is just clips. So you have to grow a pair and yank on this like you want to break it. I kid you not, it's very hard to pull out, but that's all that's left to do. You just have to pull until it comes out. You can use a popper panel to help you with the process. You can see the clips all around that I was talking about. You will have to transfer those into the new radio so it clicks in nice and factory. Get a nice table so you can have the Tesla style that we offer you and your original radio with its kit side by side because you will have to transfer the air vents, the buttons, the cigarette lighter. Each one of these things have their own screws and clips that you will have to transfer over as well. So you're going to be using everything as it's plug and play. So you remove one side of the fan, put it onto the other with the same exact screws in the same exact holes. It's very simple. I know this is a terrible showcase on how to install the Tesla style just because it's so hard to record with one hand. Don't worry. Since I'm getting a lot more serious in these YouTube videos, I am considering buying like a tripod or maybe like a GoPro. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I will improve the quality of these videos. Now, I'd recommend that you slow the video down and use the background video as an idea or a guide on how to install the harnesses we give you. You saw at first that I showcased the main harness. It's one big plug. Then you have the antenna adapter your USBs, you want to, uh, it recuperates the original USBs that the vehicle has. You don't have to install these, but we always do here at our shop just because we don't offer them for nothing. We do give you two extra USBs and a SIM card. Those connect to the back of the radio. The way we always install them here at PMP Customs is that we always run them to the glove compartment. The way that works is you push the two clips uh, inside and the glove compartment falls. You stick your hand in and now you can guide the wires through and to the back of the radio. The squarish GPS antenna that we give you, you want to stick that anywhere where it's looking above and out of the way. So when you're pushing the radio in, it doesn't bother and then run the wiring or the connection outside. Quick PMP customs tip, put some cloth on the center console, because if you're doing this by yourself, if you're installing it by yourself, you don't want to scratch anything. Lay the Tesla style on the center console and slowly make your connections. Also, we do understand that it could get a little confusing. So I'm going to tell you guys where exactly your backup camera is supposed to be plugged in. You're going to look for a yellow RCA connector. That's a video RCA. That's going to say rear view camera. And then you're going to plug that into the one that says camera video in. Oh, yeah. And also, if you want to keep using the microphone that the vehicle is originally equipped with, connect these two black connectors and it'll use your original mic. I'd recommend turning it on and making sure everything works like your back of camera, steering wheel controls, the microphone, the radio. Make sure everything works before you click it in, just as I'm doing right now. After you push it in and lock it in with those clips, don't forget about those two screws that you took out in the beginning, taking out the original radio. You still need those. I hope you didn't throw those out. You put those back in the original holes because the radio also has those like same exact flip holes. Screw it in, put the rubber piece back on, and you're good. Check it out guys, this is how it looks installed. Very gorgeous radio we have to offer you guys. This is for the newest Dodge Ram generations, the new body style ones. Gives the vehicle a more modern look. Gives it a gigantic screen. Now that is a 2024 vehicle. I don't know what I don't know what year this is, but I know it's the newest generation. Um, you guys saw the little screen he had, it was like, I think it was like eight inches. Like, come on now. We're, we're in 2020. You know what I'm saying? 2020. I, I think, I'm, let's, let's just say this is a 2022. We're, we're, this is a 2022 vehicle with no big screen, all right? So we definitely have to fix that here. Uh, so let's turn it on. Check it out. And he gets brand new versions of his buttons. He doesn't lose the ones he have here because we transfer them over. Same thing with the air vents. Same thing with um, the, what is that called again? The cigarette lighter. I, I, you guys know what I'm talking about. This little thing here. I'm having a brain fart, so I forgot what the name of that is. But yeah, you can see that you get a brand new user interface. Now, some of you guys may be saying, but Junior, Dodge Ram gives us the same exact screen. No. What you pay for in the Dodge Ram, you, I think you pay like three grand more, and they give you like a bigger screen, right? Something that looks like this. But the difference is that when I, what I'm offering you is pretty much a phone. What they are offering you is still the exact same radio, just a bigger display you're not really getting anything out of it 
Now, when I say I'm giving you a phone, is that I mean that this comes with its own Android version, so you can download apps like YouTube, Netflix. You can watch YouTube on here while you're driving. You cannot do that with the one that they offer you at the dealership, uh, for obvious reasons. They cannot offer you that kind of stuff. Uh, but here at PNP, we offer that Tesla style that can do pretty much everything. Uh, let's give it a showcase here. So, this would be your new climate control here. So you can use it digitally. So put the the vent speed up. You can see it going. I can give you guys like, like a little showcase on how it works. Uh, here are your modes down here so you can see where it goes. Very simple. Uh, you can use your temperature digitally as well. Now, when I say digitally, I mean that you can also use buttons as well. So if you don't want to touch it on here, you can also use it here. See how that works the same way. Uh, you have your auto. You also have your temperature here so I can lower it down to low. I can put it higher. You know what I'm saying? So it, it has like various ways to use it. I believe this is the volume. Yeah, so you, you have your volume knob here as well. I know some people don't like the fact that they lose volume knobs. In the Dodge Ram new body style, you do not lose it. You still have your volume knob here, as you can see. And of course, you don't lose your steering wheel controls. That would be a bummer to lose that. That's still working perfectly fine. Backup camera. Check it out. Sensors are still working as well. Um, and then you got your... I, th I think it has intelligent tracking as well. Yeah, so you can see that the track lines move as I'm turning the steering wheel. Very nice, very nice. Um, and then a cool feature is that as you're driving, I'm not sure if you can do this with the with the factory radio, but with this one, I could be wrong, but I don't think you can. But with this, this this Tesla style, you can as you're driving, you can look at the backup camera. You tap on that camera button right there, and boom! Isn't that sick? Oh man, I'm just excited to showcase this radio. Um, and then you have your buttons here as well, your modes the frost all that good stuff so you don't lose anything of course that's the main that's the main idea i'm trying to show you guys that you don't lose anything you only gain when you get these radios these would be the default apps that it comes with uh, you can see that it comes with a play store so you can put your google account in there and you can start downloading apps like i mentioned hulu prime video netflix yes you can drive and watch that stuff although i do not recommend it for legal reasons do not do that uh pmp customs strongly advised on you watching movies as you're driving that's that's just bad news there <laughs> um but if you want you can like have the passenger or the, the guy behind you looking at movies as you're driving uh you know you can, it doesn't it, it doesn't like have like a like a lock where like if you start driving it automatically stops playing whatever you're watching no that doesn't exist you can play whatever you want and still drive which is pretty cool i almost forgot let me show you guys how to give it some internet if you guys are new to tesla styles you swipe down as if it was a phone swipe down hold and then you can choose whichever Wi-Fi you want. You can give it hotspot, SIM card. Speaking about the SIM card, we, we always run the SIM card to the glove compartment. So if you want to, you can pay monthly and give it its own data. That way it always has internet and you don't have to give it Wi-Fi. Um, but just to showcase it, I will give it the business's Wi-Fi. I'm going to play some YouTube videos to see how it looks. And check it out. This is how YouTube looks. Once you give it some Wi-Fi, you can go on YouTube and you can start watching videos. It's instant. We don't offer that cheap stuff here at PMP Customs. We offer the 6x128 gigs of speed. So that junk is pretty much instantly. Um, obviously, I can't showcase a full video of YouTube just because this video will get copyrighted and taken down. And we don't want that. But that way you guys can get an idea of how it sounds. Man, you can never go wrong with the weekend, man. I love that guy. Um, but yeah, you can press any video, like I said. You know, it's one thing to say it, and I want to think another thing to show it is that look, I'll tap on this video, and I'll, I'll promise you it's instant. Boom! Look at that, instant. That's that's the stuff I'm offering you here at PMP Customs. None of that cheap stuff where it loads and all that. So that's a display of you know what you can do with Wi-Fi, and let's showcase wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Look at that! Every single inch and centimeter of that screen is being used. I have a Samsung, so it's going to be wireless Android Auto. You can see that there is no cable or from my phone. Right now, I'm recording with my phone. There's no nothing connected from my phone physically to the radio. It's through Bluetooth, so it's wireless phone connection. So as soon as you get into the vehicle, boom, boom, turn on the vehicle, automatically connects to your phone, so a lot more convenient. Check that out. So you guys know what wireless Android Auto is. Pretty much wireless Apple CarPlay with a di different user interface. You got your addresses there. You got your apps, your music, all that good stuff. So that's the stuff I have to offer you here at PNP Customs. You guys know we do it best here at PNP. So if you guys want, you can definitely hit us up.
give us a call, ask for some quotes, ask for some questions. We don't mind.